Alright, with it being October and Halloween coming up, we're going to be playing some horror themed games. Starting with the two Castlevania games that were on the N64. Castlevania and Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Which this isn't uh, really a true sequel to this game. It's more of a... Basically they didn't get to do what they wanted to do with this game. It was sort of a rush job. And this is supposed to be the version of that, that game. Uh, of what they wanted to do. So it's going to be... You're going to see a lot of similarities when I play through that one. They've added a, uh, more, a few levels. They rearranged the existing levels. And they added two new characters. That guy. Which I do not like, but I'll get into that later. Now this one I rented when it uh, was brand new. I did not uh, rent the other one. That one came out, I believe, a little under a year later. I don't know why I didn't rent it. I guess maybe they didn't have it or I was renting something else. Alright, D3. That probably stands for Drac Dracula, the third game. I don't know what the, wouldn't be the second or third one. I got the factory stamp. Copyright. I got D three right there. Paint splotch in the corner. For some reason, a lot of people hate this game, but I like it. This one in particular is my favorite in the series. Yeah, a lot of people complain about the uh, camera. That's one of the reasons, but I, I figured it out how to what it me all means. I'll get to that in the live stream. Reinhardt. In this game, there's only uh, two characters, whereas the next one, there's uh, four of them. As you can see with the control pack, when I rented this, I either didn't have the uh, control pack or it was full. Didn't want to delete it. And I, the furthest I got was the second level. I just kept playing those two levels over and over. And this one, you need the uh, working controller because there's precision jumps you gotta do. Without it, you're probably not gonna get through it. But it's a lot easier when you have a working analog stick. Here's what I got it for back in uh, 2016 for 22.59 with the manual all together. All right, now this one right here. Now this one's an expensive one. Looking at price charting right now, it's the sixth most expensive N64 game, excluding the not for resales and variant cartridges. As you can see, this was a 
blockbuster rental. Well, this particular one, but the game you look at was sold in stores. I can get this off with that, uh, I'll show you. Right here, I can easily get that off, but I'm probably not gonna. Gives you uh, the history of this cartridge, and plus uh, Blockbuster is, well, it's basically nowhere around anymore. There's only like one of them left in, uh, where the hell was it, Washington, Oregon, somewhere over there. So I'll just leave that there for historical purposes. All right, was this say D4? Yep, Dracula 4. Well, I'm assuming it's Dracula. All right, got the factory stamp. Uh, doesn't even take a big uh, sized cartridge. D4 right there, got the copyright. I'm almost going to see the paint splotch there, it's right on, on the corner. Almost missed it there. Yeah, like I said, I never rented this one, I only got this recently. Yeah, you'll see when I got it. Alright, the game I got uh, September 11th up off eBay for $90. I took a little too long getting this. Like, I got the, this in the manual in the case for $80. But what are you going to do with the uh, virus and the checks going out with the prices going up on this? But uh, I didn't want to miss out on Halloween for getting this, so i got to spend a little extra. I forgot about the tax, so it would be a little more than $80. I think it was also had the uh, shipping handling, but whatever. Manual, of course, uh, this being a later release, didn't sell too well. Hard to get manual. Yeah, it pops up infrequently. Not as bad as like Transformers, uh, Transmels. Uh, I haven't yet to see that. that uh, the manual alone, and that's one of those games where it's CIB, it's going to be expensive. Although, uh, shit, looking on price listing, some of them have been sold, but then again, I hasn't, haven't been watching the manuals uh, uh, frequently. It's not a top priority at the moment, so that's why. Although, it will be a top priority soon. I want to get that one before it skyrockets. Uh, that was a Blockbuster exclusive, uh, exclusive only. Yeah, here we go. Here's one of my problems with the game. You gotta play as this faggot, sort of like Ride and Familiar Solid 2, forcing these characters down your throat. He's the new one, as opposed to playing the bet, having them off on the start. You gotta unlock them, and uh, the other guy, Henry, you know, that guy has a gun. Although this manual's in uh, very good uh, condition, almost brand new, so it'd be worth the money. Yeah, that's another complaint uh, at the opening, just looking at the violin. People didn't like how the opening title screen didn't have the violin that the other game had, so that's another strike against it. I probably like the original game more than this one, even though it has more content. Uh, the first one's more streamlined, where this, they had a lot, bunch of shit. Namely, that uh, character over there, Cor Cor Cornell, or however the fuck you say his name, right here. Speak of the devil, right there. And there is a devil in this game. Or a demon, I should say. Yep, 
control stick right there. Yep, make sure you got a functioning analog stick or you're going to have a bad time. Thick manual, 30, going on to 30 pages in here. And here we go, here's the characters over there. Alright, we've got Cornell, Ada, I think of Resident Evil 2, Ortega. Harpies, don't want to catch them. rebate. Doesn't it's not gonna work. And here's Nintendo Power featuring the game. That give you the nice maps and everything to tell you where to go. Try to find maps on games online. Nice colored artwork for the maps. And one more thing before we go. ODT. An unreleased game for the N64 being featured right here in Nintendo Power. It seems that back in, uh, I believe it was April, that Pico required, acquired the rights to this game, so they're probably going to be uh, doing what they did with the 40 Winks. Probably going to be re-releasing -re it. Yep. 40 Winks right there. I got Pico right here. But what I really want is Earthbound 64, but I doubt they'll ever get the rights to that. So that's about it. I'll see you guys on the stream.